Here's a model tank my son has built out of Lego blocks. In nature, all the objects around us are made out of tiny Lego blocks called atoms. What are atoms like? They're so small you can't see them with the naked eye. If you took the entire population of the USA, that's about 240 million people, and shrunk each person down to the size of an atom of helium gas, you could line them up so they all fitted on this Lego block. Imagine how long it would take my son to build a model tank out of atoms. Let's take a helium atom and expand it so that it fits within a sphere with a diameter of 62 meters. That's about the width of a sports field. At the center, we'd find the nucleus of the atom, the size of a small bead less than half a centimeter in diameter. The nucleus of a helium atom is made up of even tinier subatomic particles called protons and neutrons, two of each. Surrounding the nucleus, contained somewhere within our sphere, we'd find two electrons buzzing around like tiny flies. Most of the volume of the sphere containing the atom is occupied by empty space. It's a little bit like the solar system. You've got the sun at the center and the planets orbiting around the sun, with lots of empty space in between. The difference between the solar system and an atom is that the planets orbit the sun in well-defined orbits. We can always track exactly where the planets are and where they're going to be. Whereas the best we can say about electrons is that they're located somewhere within a shell surrounding the nucleus. Sometimes this is represented by a fuzzy cloud. The electrons have a higher probability of being found in the darker or denser regions of the cloud. Although the nucleus of the atom occupies just a tiny volume at the center of the atom, it contains almost all of the atom's mass. The protons and neutrons in the atom's nucleus are much heavier than the surrounding electrons. A single proton or neutron has the mass of more than 1,800 electrons. Another feature of the protons and electrons is the different charge each of these particles has. A proton has a positive charge and an electron has a negative charge. Just as the attractive pull of gravity keeps the planets orbiting the sun, there is an attractive pull between the positively charged protons in the nucleus and the surrounding negatively charged electrons. And that's part of what holds the atom together. Neutrons have no charge, but act as a kind of glue that helps to hold the nucleus together.